everyone, welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. I'm going to do a video that strictly goes over diaphragmatic breathing and ways to strengthen your diaphragm. So the diaphragm is the muscle that sits right here, right underneath your lungs. As you breathe in, your diaphragm should come down, allowing room for your lungs to expand. Then when you breathe out, it'll go back up, helping you to push the air out. So there are numerous reasons that could cause someone to have a weakened diaphragm, um, but whatever the reason, it does affect your breathing when it's weak. So um, I'm gonna show you different ways that you can strengthen your diaphragm. So the very first thing you need to do is make sure that you are in fact using your diaphragm when you breathe. And there are two ways to do this. I'm gonna demonstrate both ways. So sit comfortably, feet flat on the floor, Put one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. Close your eyes and just start taking nice, big, deep breaths. As you're breathing in and out, I want you to focus on where you feel that breath moving when you breathe out and when you breathe in. Just pay close attention and see if one of your hands happens to be moving more than the other hand. Just a couple more deep breaths. Okay, you can open your eyes. So now, which hand moved the most? If you said the hand that's on your chest, then you're not doing it correctly. If you said the hand on your belly, then that means you're using your diaphragm to breathe. So that's awesome. Um, so some people tend to kind of do opposite of what you need to do when it comes to the diaphragm and breathing. And that's because if your diaphragm is weak, your body will get used to using accessory muscles to breathe rather than the diaphragm. So those muscles get strong, but your diaphragm keeps getting weaker. So go ahead and you can sit comfortably or you can actually lean back if you want to in a chair. And you can either put your, I like to do placing your two middle fingers together um, right above your belly button and what you want to do is you want to breathe in through your nose and you want to push your stomach out. So I'm going to demonstrate. Notice that my fingers came apart there. Now they're going to go back together when I breathe out. Again. Your stomach might not move as much as mine because my diaphragm is really strong where I do this all the time but as long as you see a little bit of movement in your stomach and not up here in your chest or your shoulders then you're doing it correctly it just means that your diaphragm is weak and you need to do it more often in order to build, to build muscle and um, brain muscle memory so if you do not do this correctly, I recommend you do this exercise five to 10 times a week, okay? Um, you wanna do it for several minutes each time you do it. It has many benefits, um, but one of which is that it will help decrease your um, level of shortness of breath. So it's really, really important to do. Um, there are a couple different things you can do to make sure that you're doing it correctly. So I had said, putting your hands there, but you can also stand in front of a mirror with one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. And when you breathe in, this hand on the bottom here should go out. And then when you exhale, it will go in. I say to do this in front of a mirror because it's very easy to think that you're doing it the right way and you're not. Um, just because for a lot of people, this seems opposite of what you would think you need to do when you breathe. Now, I have a lot of students that tend to breathe like this. We don't wanna do that. What you're doing here, you're actually limiting how much air is getting into your lungs because you're doing this, your stomach is coming up, your diaphragm is coming up. And then on top of that, you're using way more muscles than what you need to to breathe, which means you're using more oxygen to breathe. So this is another reason that diaphragmatic breathing is so important. If you are someone who suffers from shortness of breath as well as someone whose oxygen level drops, this is counterproductive. 
you might feel like you're getting as much air in as you need to, but you're using a lot more oxygen and you're actually getting less air in with each breath. So another good reason to practice using your diaphragm multiple times a day, multiple days a week. But so we're gonna do a couple more. I'm gonna do some with you just so you can get some practice here. I'm gonna lay back on this one. You can see better when you lay back. Um, so you can actually even lie flat if you want to, if you can watch your belly and your chest and just make sure you're moving correctly. But I'm going to inhale through my nose and my stomach is going to go out. And now I'm going to exhale and push the air out as my stomach goes in. I'm watching my body to make sure that I'm not moving my shoulders. sit up okay so you've got the diaphragmatic breathing down I'm going to show you a variation that you can do once your diaphragm has built strength you know you're using your diaphragm then you can add a couple things to make it even stronger so one thing that you can do is you can grab a weight like a one pound weight or here I have a can works just as well as a weight and what you'll do is you'll lean back like you have been doing, and you're gonna put this right about where your diaphragm should be, which is right underneath your rib cage. And this is gonna add some weight to it. So you're gonna do the same breathing exercise, but you're just gonna have a little bit of weight added to your diaphragm. So we're gonna go inhale and exhale. You can see my can is rising up there as I inhale. only want to do this exercise after you know that your diaphragm is nice and strong because we don't want to weaken your diaphragm even further by pushing it too hard. So that's another way. And you can actually just keep going up on weights there. Now, I have a five pound, and that's only because this is the only one I could find laying around the house. Um, but you don't have to use a five pound. That would be way too much. But just to show you, you can use one pound, two pound, three pound. Same thing. You just set it on your belly. Inhale. And then exhale. But you don't want to overdo it. So like I said, I wouldn't use this but I just wanted to show you that there were different levels to diaphragmatic breathing. Now, another thing that you can do is grab a towel, sit up nice and tall, just wrap this towel around your body right under your rib cage, and you just pull with both sides, and now you practice it again. This is going to, um, be harder than any of the other ones because you're going to be using other muscles around here as well but they will strengthen your it will strengthen your respiratory muscles and make it easier to breathe whenever you get into a bind so do this you don't have to pull it tight you just want to make sure that it's kind of snug and supported here same thing we'll do five breaths inhale pushing my stomach out and then exhale So that's a nice little diaphragm workout there. Um, so you do want to do this multiple times a week. 
even when your diaphragm is strong, you still want to do the exercises because this is when it's gonna help you. Let's say that you are out at the store and um, you've just started having some shortness of breath, but you wanna keep going, you wanna check out and do everything, you don't wanna leave yet. Um, when you start to do slow, deep breathing exercises while you're short of breath, when you have that, um, when you have the strong diaphragm and you are not using accessory muscles like this, you will regain your breath faster. You are going to oxygenate better and you will regain your breath faster. So it just takes lots of work. I have numerous students that it takes a couple weeks even just to get the diaphragm moving in the right direction and that's okay. You just have to stick with it. And if you stick with it, you'll get it without a doubt. I've never had anyone not be able to get it. So um, I know sometimes people get frustrated because they are having a hard time understanding it, but it's just practice, 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 practice. It's progress over perfection. So if you have any questions, just leave it underneath the comments. Um, feel free to sh share my video with people who might benefit from it and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.